Well, I made it to my old site here. Uh, it's not blown in, thank goodness. But in uh, earlier today, I, I may have mentioned that I don't think anybody comes in here. I was wrong. Somebody's been here. They uh, cut some wood and left it right on the ground to rot. That's all soaking wet. My fire circle here that I built uh, for the prevailing wind, which comes across that way, and uh, balance for the Purcell Trench Grill, that's been trashed. Mm -hmm. Now that could be a bear, I suppose, but it looks like there's some rocks missing. These rocks got moved over here. These, these weren't here, so somebody's, somebody's definitely been here. Uh, that's, that's not my wood pile. Again, it's all rotten sitting sitting on the ground uh, not on a bare rock where it can where it can dry that's sitting in the dirt and I don't remember these rocks over here I don't know why they they carried those over there so it's really late it's past 7 30 p.m. and I gotta get my tent set up uh, it's it's nice weather at the moment, but there are rain clouds all around, and I think I see rain falling way down there. So, oh, uh, here comes another one. So, time to get that tent up. Yeah, get going. Well, that was a long, hard day, especially because I'm out of shape and I'm getting old. A little bit wet, sort of from the knees down, which always happens uh, when the bilge of the canoe fills up with rainwater. Got the Trangia going here on the click stand. Tomorrow when I have some energy, I'm going to stay here tomorrow and uh, I'll fix this fire, fire ring, I'll rebuild it and uh, hopefully the weather's good tomorrow, we'll see. Bugs are crazy, mosquitoes and black flies are uh, fairly intense. Last dinner's ready. Oh, I'm hungry. Tonight's dinner is uh, dried ground beef, rotini pasta, dried ragu tomato sauce, uh, dried onions, dried mushrooms, dried olives, garlic, and olive oil. So everything's dry except the olive oil. I put the olive oil away, but it's in an Nalgene bottle that's leak-proof. Oh, this is going to be good. This is my favorite meal of all my home-dried food meals. This is my favorite. 
ถูกทอดทอดทอดจะพุทธ pasta in right at the beginning I boiled the water first for a hot uh, decaf coffee and then the remaining water I put the pasta in the dried ground beef the ground beef is cooked of course and defatted and all the other dried ingredients and the pasta cooks just like rice so I don't need two pots I don't have to boil the pasta in a separate pot um, and then drain off that water wasting the stove fuel by doing that and the starch that comes off the pasta thickens the sauce too so it works for me and it's I've worked this out for uh, 20 over 20 years and it, it just turns out perfect every time and although the the dried beef is defatted I'll have to do a video on that and on how I uh, skim off the fat um, Although it's defatted, I add fat back in with the olive oil, and that is my fat source in my diet. And it's really important to have a lot of fat when you're working hard out in the bush. Don't know if you can see that, but the dried, the dried sliced back black olives. I get those out of a can, so they're not the tastiest olives in the world, but they're easy because they're uh, they're pre-sliced and just drain them out of the can and put them on the fruit roll-up tray in the dehydrator, and they turn out perfect every time. And they really add texture and flavor to uh, any type of one-pot meal. If I didn't have the bug repellent on right now, I'd be being eaten alive. I love this melamine mug. I can warm my hands on it. And that's increasingly important to me because I'm getting arthritis in my hands. And uh, the heat feels really good. Well, we're running out of light here for day one. I still have to wash up the pots and pans, pack up the food barrel, brush my teeth, and then wash the bug dope off my face. So, we'll see you tomorrow.